Great. All right, commuting by train got a lot easier for people heading back and forth between San Diego, Orange County, and LA. Yeah, rocks and dirt and debris shut down a portion of the tracks in San Clemente for weeks, but the repair work is finished now. CBS 8's Kelly Hassadal joins us live from Old Town Transit Center, where commuters are really glad that things are back to normal. Kelly. That's right. You know, people who have been uh, commuting by train for a couple of months, they really had to get creative. Some were adding uh, buses to their commute. Uh, others were driving further to different train stops. Uh, so you can imagine yeah. it was a bit of a travel headache. But now that that work is finished, uh, commuters say, thank goodness. I'm already doing an hour 45 commute. So, you know, that definitely impacts my family life. So when it's shut down, it's disastrous. You know, and it just completely ruins, you know, your entire frame of mind as to how am I going to get to work? What time do I have to leave? If it's uh, raining out and it's even worse. So, yeah, um, it's good that it's back. Last gentleman uh, that you heard from right there was Don Davis. He lives in Orange County, but he works here in San Diego. And he said instead of taking a bus that was offered along the route, uh, he drove down the five and then took an Uber a portion of the way just to get to work. So he is glad that the trains are back up and running. A seven mile stretch of the track shut down in San Clemente uh, back in January after there was a landslide along the route. Uh, crews worked to build a 200 foot long wall at Mariposa Point to shore up the hillside. Now, the hillside is privately owned. So all Metrolink can do is build a wall to try to keep mud and other debris from falling from that hillside that continues to move. So this is only a temporary solution for a bigger problem of those moving hillsides along the tracks. Here's what another commuter said about that. They need to move the tracks out of the San Clemente area or along the bluffs there, put it along the five or a little more inland, and then we should, but, you know, got to put the money in to make that happen. And obviously, a price tag on something like that is extremely expensive. I spoke to Metrolink today. They certainly acknowledge the fact that this is just a Band-Aid uh, for a much larger issue. So commuters, even though they're grateful that the train service is back up and running, they're well aware that it could be just a matter of time before they deal with these travel headaches all over again. Mother and Carlo. Yeah, Kelly, you said it. a Band-Aid, more really rough weather, heavy rain, and we can probably expect to see something like this again. What's the latest on plans to try to really address and correct the long-term issues along the tracks in San Clemente. Well, a short term plan, I'm told, is that, uh, or at least looking at 10 years down the road, they're talking about really stabilizing that hillside, but that's going to take that uh, private property owner as well as the city of San Clemente to deal with that and to really, uh, here comes another train, <laughs> and to really put pay for that. Uh, a longer term solution, 30 years down the road, they're talking about potentially moving those trains. <laughs> further inland, but that will certainly take the federal government, state and local governments are coming up to foot the bill for that. All right, our Kelly Hesedal reporting live very close to the trains on the train tracks near Old Town. Kelly, thanks.